With next generation solid state batteries, we will further improve battery performance on several fronts. Imagine driving an electric car that can travel over 700 miles on a single charge, and you can fully recharge it in just a few minutes. What's more, these batteries never catch fire or explode. Solid state batteries are the next big thing in battery technology, and they could be the kiss of death for gas powered cars. Toyota has been one of the top automobile companies who always have something innovative in the garage. When it comes to introducing new and inventive techniques, Toyota has never disappointed its customers. This time Toyota is back again with some groundbreaking battery technology that is set to bring a change in the EV industry. So what's this battery technology that Toyota is up to? How does it work in an automobile? And how does Toyota aim to bring it into the automobile industry? If you're also someone who's wondering about all these questions, then this video is for you. Join us as we head towards Toyota's new solid state battery and how it's going to revolutionize the EV industry forever. So without any further ado, let's get started. Toyota claims a technological breakthrough that will enable its electric vehicles to extend their range more than twice as far as existing models. Toyota claimed that breakthroughs in aerodynamics, design and battery technology will allow their EVs to travel 1200 kilometers on a single charge and recharge in 10 minutes or less. With a commercial release schedule for 2027 to 28, the business estimates that additional research might increase the cruising range even further to 1500 kilometers on a single charge. The development of solid state batteries for Toyota's vehicles is the key to the company's ambitious promises but uncertainties remain regarding the advancement of the technology itself and whether it will be ready for large-scale use within five years. So, what exactly are solid-state batteries? Lithium-ion batteries, such as those found in your smartphone or in the EVs in the market today, are liquid-state batteries. This refers to the fact that inside the battery, a liquid electrolyte solution is employed to circulate ions between the cathode and the anode, and this mobility generates electrical potential. A solid state battery, as the name implies, replaces this liquid with a solid substance such as ceramics or glass. The difficulty is in locating a solid substance that's conductive enough to be employed in big batteries. This is what Toyota is attempting to address at the moment. These batteries work pretty much in the same principle as lithium ion batteries. A lithium ion battery consists of a positive electrode side, a negative electrode side and an insulating layer in between that prohibits any direct contact. Everything is immersed in a liquid electrolyte. The fact that lithium atoms are excellent electron donors is the key to lithium ion batteries. They are desperate to get rid of the lone electron on the outer shell. The electric current that flows from the battery is caused by the flow of these electrons. When a lithium atom loses its outer electron, it is transformed into a positively charged ion. This is where the term lithium ion comes from. The previously described separator or insulating layer permits lithium ions to pass through but not electrons. As a result, it also serves as an insulator. When the battery is charged, graphite on the negative electrode portion of the battery accumulates lithium atoms. The battery begins to discharge when you plug in the gadget. The lithium loses one electron to electrical flow, converting it to an ion which travels through the liquid electrolyte and a separator to the positive electrode side. The positive side is frequently composed of chemicals that have drawbacks and limits, not to mention the disadvantages of using liquid electrolytes. Now, solid-state batteries, as mentioned, work pretty much the same. The only difference here is the presence of a solid electrolyte through which the lithium ions flow. One significant advantage is that they do not have the safety concerns that liquid electrolytes do. On the plus side, unlike ordinary liquid electrolyte batteries, which incorporate a metal oxide electrode, pure lithium accumulates in metal form as it flows from the negative to the positive side during discharge. This saves a significant amount of space. What are the benefits of these solid state batteries? If we talk about the benefits of such batteries, the key advantages include smaller, higher capacity and less expensive batteries than existing lithium based lithium ion batteries. Sakti 3, a renowned solid-state battery company, said in 2014 that it was close to producing a battery with double the energy density of its current batteries and a sixth of the cost. They are also non-flammable, which means that they might last longer and charge faster in theory. This means that solid-state batteries have a high energy density, which means they can store more energy while using fewer components. 
They also usually do not require any harmful components. Surprisingly, research indicates that this new technology can help to reduce the climatic impact of EV batteries. As indicated by research, batteries constructed from the most environmentally produced materials can reduce carbon emissions by 39%. This reduction in emissions is most likely due to streamlined manufacturing methods and faster charging times. Furthermore, more effective mining technologies, such as extracting lithium from geothermal wells, can help to reduce climate consequences. Although solid-state batteries require up to 35% more lithium than current lithium-ion technology, they consume significantly less cobalt and graphite. Why do we need them? To power something the size of a car, conventional liquid electrolyte lithium batteries must be quite huge. They have safety hazards and might bloat due to fluctuation in temperature or leak if squeezed too hard. The liquid contained within is also combustible. This makes the standard lithium-ion batteries pretty daunting. As you're surely aware, your phone's battery does not last very long. Despite being superior to their predecessors, typical lithium-ion batteries' energy density could be increased. They charge slowly and have a short lifespan. This renders them unsuitable for a variety of applications, including electric vehicles and medical devices, such as pacemakers and electric planes. So, what are your thoughts about this so far? If you're enjoying this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. What are Toyota's claims about the latest EV solid-state battery technology? Now, when it comes to the renowned car giant's space for offering new technology, it always vowed to bring something up to the mark. And at a recently held technical briefing, Toyota unveiled plans for many new technologies, including next-generation EV batteries, aerodynamic drag reduction, and manufacturing advancements to help change the corporation in the electric era. Toyota says it plans to provide solid-state EV batteries with a driving range of more than 900 miles after making a breakthrough. Several high-ranking Toyota employees spoke during the event, outlining the automaker's planned EV tech strategy and concepts in the works. Despite government and investor pressure to go all-electric, Toyota continues to pursue a hybrid strategy that includes EVs, PHEVs, HEVs and fuel cell cars. One of the most important takeaways from Toyota's briefing was its next-generation EV battery technology. Toyota revealed some time ago that the next-generation EV will continue to employ new batteries and that the company is determined to become a world leader in battery EV energy consumption. Back in July 2023, the Japanese automaker, which has lagged behind rivals in EV deployment, announced its breakthrough solid-state battery. The automaker claimed that it was able to streamline the production of materials used in solid-state batteries. Toyota also stated that this finding will now allow to cut size, cost and weight of EV batteries in half. This reduces charging times to 10 minutes or less while improving the driving range to 1200 kilometers, which is 745 miles. The luxury brand Lucid Air currently has the longest drive range of 516 miles. Keiji Kaita, president of Toyota's R&D Center for Carbon Neutrality, stated that they intend to achieve decreases in both liquid and solid-state batteries. He also stated that this new battery will be easier to manufacture than a traditional lithium-ion battery. Toyota has been working on this technology since 2012, and it finally is becoming a reality, as the business now owns over 1,000 solid-state battery patents, more than any other automaker. Kaita also stated that they develop solutions to EV battery durability issues, and that they are now confident in their ability to mass-produce solid-state batteries by 2027 or 2028, analysts commented on Toyota's statement, saying it might be a game-changer for the industry. It may also help the Japanese automaker to get closer to Tesla, the leading EV manufacturer. The majority of Tesla's EVs are powered by traditional lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolytes. Will this drive up the demand for lithium? By fueling the EV revolution, lithium, sometimes known as white gold, is the unsung hero of the clean energy transition. Countries and major EV manufacturers are rushing to get lithium. If solid-state batteries take over the market, demand for this key mineral will skyrocket much above what it is now predicted. Toyota's solid-state battery announcement left out important facts including battery performance in cold temperatures, energy density and raw materials. However, the giant car manufacturer aims to produce 3 million battery electric vehicles per year by 2030, including 50% with solid-state batteries. So, will Toyota's battery breakthrough alter its direction and propel it to the forefront of the EV revolution? What are your thoughts on it though? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed watching this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.